The most delicious snacks start with the best ingredients. And your produce man, Michael Marks, is standing by with guac mm, tips do it. and tricks. I will join you. Okay, Michael? Oh, you're joining me? Yeah. Wow. I know, I'm so glad Pretty that cool. you're in the studio in here. Do you want me to take a picture of you? No, you, you can get a picture. Okay. This is the first time in how long since I've been in here? Okay, got you. Oh, there, there you go, there you go, okay. Where'd he go? Uh, uno, dos, tres, there we go. Oh, okay. I even smiled on that one. Okay. Uh, so the best ingredients, uh, so the best guacamole starts with the best avocado, which is called a what? Haas. No, the guy's name was Rudolf Haas. The guy's name was Rudolf Haas, uh, and I think we need to pronounce his name correctly, don't you think? Haas. Think, think, as in pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or class. Yes, or as that. Uh, okay. He was a he was a postman in uh, in La Habra, California, yeah. uh, back in the 1920s. Okay. And he had these avocado trees in his front yard, and the middle avocado tree produced the best avocados. Okay. And so virtually every avocado grown in California, the Hass avocado, came from that mother tree in La Habra, California. And so many people try to grow avocado. I uh, tried, and guess what happened? What happened? It froze to death a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's terrible. All right. So this is a Hass avocado right over here. It's color coded for you, so it starts out green. Yeah. It's, it's a climactic fruit. You know what that means? That means it changes according to temperature. A climactic fruit means it has to be picked before it starts to ripen. That's what I said. Like a pear. Okay. Or an avocado or a banana. Those are climactic uh, fruits. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Uh, so anyway, they start out green, and it color codes itself to. Uh, when it's nice and ripe, it's nice and black. That's very, very cool. By the way, look at this. Do you see all this scarring on here? Yeah. What is that? Wind. No, that is a thrip. A little, Excuse me? A thrip is a little tiny insect, and when these avocados were small, the little thrips in there were biting the skin. Does not impact the flavor of the avocado oh, at all. You got a thrip. I got a thrip. So okay. it's just an appearance thing. It kind of looks ugly, doesn't it? I never bothered me. Yeah, but uh, some people say, oh, I'm not buying that one. No, okay. it's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, so, so we're going to start with avocados. We've got to have some limes on it. Got to have the How limes. do you pick out the best limes? Of these four limes, which is the best lime for you? Well, I'm going to probably say the one that has the softest, this one. Uh, well, very good. Uh, not just because it's soft. Uh, look at the difference between these two. See that? This is almost 3D. Uh, you know, it has little bumps on it and stuff. This is slick, like an eight ball, right? Yeah. A cube or somebody's bald head. Uh, it's very slick. And this is the uh, is the lime you want because it has the most juice in it. Oh. Okay. This uh, this uh, this little lime over here is not going to have nearly enough juice, and you're going to have to really you're going to have to have Arnold Schwarzenegger ah, okay. squeeze it for got you. It, got it. Uh, next, uh, what kind of onion putting in it? White onion. Yes, thank you very much. Because not you a yellow, said that. not a red, but a white onion. If you were in Mexico, besides avocados, there's only three other ingredients. What are those ingredients? Mm. Lime, mm -hmm. white onion, and chili peppers. And what kind of chili pepper? Um, hot ones. <laughs> yes, hot ones. The one that looks like your little finger. It's called a serrano. Serrano. Serrano chili pepper. That's okay. what you're gonna. Now we're gonna add some uh, some tomatoes in it. Roma. A Roma tomato. Why don't we use a regular slicing tomato? Too many seeds. Too juicy. Too juicy. I want my guacamole to be real nice and thick, right? Yeah. Giving you the big one there. The big. Okay. One. And we're always gonna end with. Cilantro. Cilantro. And I even brought chips for you guys today. Crazy gringo I'm chips. So happy. Next hour, I'm making this. Kay. Next time you see me, this bowl is going to be full. Mike, are you ready to try? Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, there you go. Michael March, your produce man. Stick around for the recipe and make sure you take notes, too. All right, okay. Back over to you. Love it. Thank you. Help out at local school.